Hello, yes. Today's topic is what is uh, uh, Jantism. Uh, Jantism is uh, abnormal growth due to an excess of growth hormone during the childhood. And the most common cause of too much growth hormone release uh, is non-cancerous tumor of the pituitary gland. And other causes may include like uh, genetic disease that affects the skin color and cause benign tumors of the skin, you know, heart, endocrine system. Now, a genetic disease that affects the bones and the skin pigmentation and uh, the genetic disease in which one or more of the endocrine glands are uh, overactive or form a tumor and disease in which tumors uh, form on the nervous system you know like uh, nerves of the brain and the spine you know if excess growth hormone occurs after normal bone growth has stopped the condition is known as uh, acromegaly you know and uh, gentism is a very rare okay, condition you know And the symptoms uh, may include like uh, delayed puberty or uh, double VN, which is known as diplopia, you know, and uh, headaches or uh, increased sweating, uh, irregular periods in uh, women, you know, and large hands and feet uh, with thick fingers and toes, you know, and uh, release of breast milk or uh, sleep problems, uh, weakness. So these are the common symptoms. Uh, to diagnose it, your doctor will perform a physical examination and ask about the child's symptoms, you know. And the laboratory test may be ordered, which may include like uh, uh, cortisol, you know, and uh, estradiol in the girls, you know, and growth hormone expression test, you know, and prolactin test, uh, insulin like growth factor 1, and testosterone for the boys, and uh, uh, thyroid hormones. So these are the uh, tests used and uh, uh, just for further investigation uh, uh, he may order like uh, imaging tests like CT or MRI, a scan of the head and uh, may also and it may also be for, uh, for the order for the pituitary tumor as well you know. Now what's the treatment? Uh, you know, the further pituitary hormones uh, uh, that have the clear outlines surgery can uh, cure many cases you know. And when surgery cannot completely remove the tumor, medicines are used to block or reduce the growth hormone release uh, or prevent growth hormone from reaching the target uh, issue, tissues, you know. And uh, sometimes the radiation treatment is used to decrease the size of the tumor after surgery. And now the epistory surgery is usually successful in uh, limiting the growth hormone production. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information, you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com. And please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more informative videos every day. Thank you. Bye bye.